Hello everyone, my name is Milky from Say What Now Productions and this week we're going to do something a little different. I've decided to play through StarCraft 2 with Heart of the Swarm coming out in the near future, a few weeks time. Uh, it's a game of mine I really liked, I really like playing through it and I just thought I'd do something a bit different with the playthrough. I'm going to play through on normal difficulty. Um, the reason for that is I'm going to try to do missions where you can do things a little differently, just a little bit differently. If you're meant to attack a base, go around the base. If you're meant to go around the base, go through the base. Because uh, there's some missions you can sort of finish in different ways that the game doesn't specifically tell you you can do. Um, so just do something a little bit different. I'm going to be playing it on normal, and I'm sorry about the audio quality not being as good as some of the more recent videos. I'm having to use the my headset microphone, because using my higher quality microphone, it picks up every single mouse click, which was getting very annoying when I was hearing it. So. Um, if you really want the higher quality microphone, tell me in the comments or something below, but most likely I'll just stick with the headset because it won't pick up any extra sounds. Uh, so let's just start a new campaign and let's get going. And I'm playing on normal because it's easier to do some of the silly things on normal. If you go on hard, you've got to actually pay attention to what you're doing. They say a man never really knows himself. until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... how well do you know yourself? According to the law, those um, armor suits have uh, toiletry facilities inside them, which is quite good because they don't look very easy to remove if you need to go for a pee.
Douglas Meng scaled a press conference commemorating the end of the so-called brood war some four years ago. Our own Kate Lockwell was on the scene. Emperor, the threat of a new Zerg invasion is still very real. But instead of expanding our fleets, you've squandered trillions on hunting down has-been rebels like Jim Rayner. Jim Rayner represents a clear and present threat to this Dominion. He is an unscrupulous, lawless revolutionary bent on spreading fear and dissension across the sector. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across six separate worlds. Troops ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. Right, so this is the first mission. It's pretty simple. One unit type, a hero unit who can't heal. Adjutant, what do you got for me? Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, It'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. So, it's just a very simple mission. Kill stuff. A couple of There's a secondary objective to blow up some things as well, just in case of finding all of them. Alright, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. Right, so the first thing I've got to do when it loads up is change a setting. If the game speed depends on what difficulty you're on normally, but you can raise it if you want. So, because we're playing on normal, the game speed will be normal as well. We're going to put it up to faster because that's what multiplayer games are played at and what I'm used to. Sell me. Command group them up, and off we go. Now, I don't think we need the tutorial videos, I've only played this about seven times. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is All the way through. Don't go up that road. But yep, we've got Rainer here, much more What's powerful, much more health, normal marines. Talk to me. But you're never really outnumbered at any point, so like you don't really have to worry. His and her toilets. Yeah, as I said, sorry about the lower. Oh, hang on. Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. I was going to say sorry for the lower audio quality, but this is the second time I've recorded these couple of levels. Because the first time you could hear every single mouse click, and I'm hoping with this microphone it's not as sensitive, so you won't be able to hear every single mouse click. It's an RTS, so there's quite a bit of mouse clicking that happens. Uh, anyone who's played StarCraft 2 as well will know that there's you tend to click quite a few times. Right, checkpoint. This is the first time it gets interesting. Lots and lots, you're outnumbered, but not really. There's a bit of a surprise. So we'll get the timing right to get losses to a minimum. Uh, lost about two, that's okay. Now they've got a lot more of me. That's Rainer. The problem is you can't heal. Sounds There's like no way to heal on this level. We don't have any healers of any sort. So it's just a case of make sure Rainer doesn't get shot too Sounds much. Like and kill everything. You can count there is an achievement for this mission. Rainer has What's to get five kills. In my case he's already got six. But normally it's just a case of... Time to man up. I'm not Raiders sure if these count. But we can find out. 
basically have Reyna just shoot something that's on low health. Those don't count as kills. It needs to be a uh, uh, marine or enemy kill. It's just a case of making sure Reyna's the one that does the shooting. But only if they're on low health, because obviously he can't kill. And he's only got a certain amount of health. Finally, there's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. And that's the sort of people you're fighting. Ones that shoot civvies in the back. So instead we just outnumbered them ridiculously. And blow it up. Alright, that's all the hollow boards. The hollow board mission is easy to miss because there was one there. And there's one down there, so you can easily miss them. So you have to be careful. And the main reason you'll lose this mission is Rain and Gain Shot. He's got a longer range than most of the other Marines, so he stands at the back. He's got more health, but it's still possible to get him killed. So you have to be careful. Now, with all the hollow boards down, the civvies should realize that you've got an uprising and come to support you. And they do that by setting fire to things. Like so. So, basically, that's it. This is this mission over because. Even if you do nothing, the civvies will do the rest for you. So you should probably support them, because you know, they are kind of fighting for you. And that's it. First mission done. There's not really much extra you can do on that to do things a bit sillily. Uh, the next mission, anyway, you can do sillily things. It's just we're doing it really ridiculously quickly. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember. Minx can only control you if you let him. And that's it. Didn't liberate all of the civilians for some reason, but... Well, I killed enough units of Rainer, so I would have got that if I didn't already have it. Let's just continue straight on to the next mission. Friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for them. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tigus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times.
Right, you will get to the areas like this in between each mission. I'm going to click on sort of the story essential ones. I'm not going to click on everything because it's just it's little bits of additional information. I would recommend actually playing the game because it is a very good game. Even if you're not into RTS, it's, it's still it plays differently enough in terms of mission variety that you can get the hang of it. There is actually barely any destroy the enemy base missions, which is actually annoying. And the news stories are normally that Donny guy is um, effectively that's the Fox News of the StarCraft 2 world. It's all lies. Uh, anyway, it's just up to this guy. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well, I busted out of my cryo freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water. Made off with the Warden's daughter. Don't you get up buddy with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. Right, and it, uh, it's an interesting story considering what well, we've seen a bit of the prologues we've seen who released him. So obviously yeah, there's something he's not telling everyone. But let's just go to the mission. Thanks to your actions, Marsara is now in a state of open revolt against Arcturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Finlay's mysterious contacts. Alright, here's how much money you get for completing it. You don't need money right now, about three or four missions in, you can start to use it. And of course, the unit you get, the new one for this mission. So it's a very simple mission, I'm including this and the first one in the same level because they're both a bit boring, but need to be done. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. Dominion Engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. Alright. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that base and haul that baby out of there. Another thing I'm going to be doing as I play this through is I'm going to be doing whenever there's a choice of one of like one mission A or mission B, I'm going to be doing the Blizzard Cannon, which is A for most of them, except the very end you do bringing down the sky, I believe it's called. Uh, there's one variation to this because I much prefer the unit you get from option B, uh, but you'll know what it is. Um, well, you know what it is when I get to it. I'll explain why as well. It's just it's, it's just something I prefer basically. Right, so first things we do, get everything uh, hot keyed up. Oops, else. there we go. Additional tutorials are available for you to review. And get the workers building. You'll notice the work accounts, it's, it's been patched recently, ready for Heart of the Swarm. And so it's introduced some of the extra things they added in to Heart of the Swarm, to, uh, for Heart of the Swarm 2, Queen's of Liberty, so. Including the work accounts, auto worker harvesting, if they're like normal ones, but these aren't normal workers, so. And a few things like that, so what we're doing is just explore. Build a second barracks, build more supply depots, we're gotcha. going to need them. Let's get this from a tech lab. We've got enough to build a medic, once the tech lab's done. And a straight way explore down here, because there is a... So a sub objective down here. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off And this will just make things a little bit easier. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to run. Because now we've already got a load of extra troops. An extra barracks with more production. Not enough. Well, you guys sure are a welcome sight. And there's all, also a load of extra resources down here that we can build more stuff anyway. Boys. Let's go down here. Something there, something there, something there. Oh, Dominion these troops coming. They're going to put a bit of surprise ready for them. 
troops with medics don't die as quickly as they used to. Let's just build. And I already need to start spending these minerals. I'm getting too many of them. So I just do what we normally do. And that's building my supply depot. So we need bloody things. It's great. So I've got a few more troops. And then we're going to go attack and get this mission done in ridiculously good time. Let's get those over there. So that normally this mission, you, you, you take it slowly, build up your forces, go up there, but we're just going to attack pretty, pretty quickly. It's not that difficult, there's no, there's only a couple of units that are really going to do any damage. There's a couple of Hellions that are designed basically to set fire to troops. And there's a couple of, and there's a bunker up there as well that can do a bit of damage, but we've got more than enough medics here. And you can build a couple more if you want, but we've got enough medics just to keep things alive. And it's the only way in this mission you can do things a little differently. The first two missions, as I said, are a bit they're simple and boring, but you kind of need to see them to see the story, so that's why. Bad guys are that well, do them in, but just do them both in the first uh, in the first video. Here come the aliens, and they're already dead. Here's the bunker, and Nat's already dead as well. So there's basically no defense now for this base. So let's just send all the troops up there as soon as they're produced. And there we go. Now it's just a case of not if we'll win, it's more when we'll win. Because, well, yeah, things are going to die now and things are going to start catching on fire and stuff like that. It's just a case of uh, how long it takes to blow everything up. More defenses, kind of, but not really. If I destroy that, then there's no way you can build any more offensive units. Just might as well just send all the reinforcing strains to the base now. Outstanding. With their barracks and factory trashed, we just gotta mop up. There's the stragglers well. up here. Oh, there is one more offensive unit. I don't know why they didn't send that in earlier. Probably wouldn't have helped him, but just destroy all of the workers, and there we go. This mission is now basically over. And that was it. There's not much you can do on this mission. The next one, however, we will be doing a little bit differently in the next video. Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. And there we go. So the cash reward, the the objective, like the achievement objective, is to pick up all nine pallets. They're just dotted around the place. The only ones you really you can really miss are the ones to the north of your original base. Every other one you'll probably find on your way through. So there's just a few in like an outcrop up to the north, but the rest are like around that second base, which you will see on the way past it. And well, that's basically it for that one. That's it for the video, and I'll see you next time. The next one will be a bit more interesting because you're meant to defend a base, but the way we're going to defend it